I'm sorry. These portals aren't very precise. You suck. Do you enjoy dropping me like that? Just trying to land you in the air. It beats materializing a couple feet underground. Your logic is sound. Thank you. And now to hunt down the last piece of the Nobutsura Kage. Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Shadow Warrior with me, Brainboy20, where we had last left off. We had engaged in a massive fight culminating in a battle with our first Berserker while trying to get to the second Whisperer. And then we fought Mezu, the Guardian of the Gate and the Bird Demon. And now we're here in the frozen north in our attempt to locate the last Whisperer. And I definitely really like the way this specific area looks. I just know it's going to take forever to render because of so many particles being dropped all over the place. We also actually have near full ammunition. Who'd have thunk it? Because we were fighting Mezu and we didn't need to expend tons of it to actually kill the beast. I hate the fact that this one has a minimum jumping distance and I completely forgot that fact. And then we're on our way to that gate over there, which will give us the last boost in power I think we'll receive for quite a while. But first things first, I am going to do a full exploration of this place, because, you know, they're going to hide things in the snow. I, I kind of don't want to die. And I don't doubt they're going to have invisible walls. Could I actually jump down there? Will I die if I do that? Nope. I'm gonna be honest here, I don't trust this. And I'm just like threatening to fall off constantly, so let's get a move on and get to actual combat in the game. We're gonna be following the blaring red light in our attempt to locate whatever's going on here. Hey. Oh, hey. I forgot about you. That took an absurd long, absurdly long amount of time to even get you killed. But I do thank you for the demon's heart. And I even got a karma point that I didn't realize. And a chi crystal. We're not here for achievements. Which I'll actually show you all the achievements later. It's just I need to get more powers. So we got everything for Shockwave, which I need to remember to use. We have protection, but I'm not going to bother. Let's actually upgrade our healing. So... By improving his channeling techniques, the adept is able to cure himself more efficiently. Heals 60 HP. We heal up to 65% of max HP already. My guess is this is meant for the, um, hmm, for the upgrades to health, which I choose not to take. Or we can protect a fan chi embraces the caster, shielding him from harm, receiving damage. No longer breaks channeling. I'll take invigorating dew. And I want to skills. We have max level knowledge, allowing the demon head to be used to its greatest capability. Max luck. Nothing in mind, but there's no reason to get anything in mind except maybe rage. Which I'm actually going to start buffing, because I don't need any more regen. The tiger's bite is fiercer when wounded. When HP drops below 30%, 30% more damage is inflicted. Which is actually really useful in my fights, because I tend to drop HP very, very quickly, and then gain a ton of it right after. Anyway, oh hey, it's been a while since you've seen the demon bunnies, but we're still not going to activate it because I don't want to get more, like, I don't even know if that song is copyrighted or if it's just a generic one. I'm just not going to do it. Although I do like the way they look. And what is this trail and where does it lead? To an underground compound across the snowy wastes? I was intending for that to rhyme, but that clearly didn't work out. Also... Oh, you're invisible! You don't actually teleport, you're just invisible. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, you're new. I know where you are. Oh, this actually is a completely new enemy type. They're not the teleporting variety. Alright, I'm actually going to swap to the Demon Heart and try to kill them all off via detonating them, because I don't feel like dealing with them at this exact moment. Alright, where are you hiding? Alright, that's an efficient way of dealing with them. I don't know what you expected. You're kind of just pissing me off at this point. 
All right, get back here. I hit you with so much, and yet you don't die. Actually, what am I doing? I've completely forgot about Shockwave again. And it still took me forever to even kill them. And there's the key card we actually needed to open up the door over there. But that doesn't matter as much as the supplies that I still need to collect. And the explosive barrel that happens to be here. But I think there's actually a secret over here, if not later in the level. Yes, because I remember that we spent the majority of this level indoors. No, we don't. We actually spent about equal parts inside and out. Now, is there anything else that I've forgotten? Nothing else. Let's get a move on. We have to advance the story at some point. Meaning I can actually deal with the explosive ones. Not this shit again. I understand it's not this shit again. Can you actually hit them though, or are they just invulnerable to damage? Oh yes, they're actually on the ceilings now, which makes them infinitely worse. Also, please remember to keep track of doors that I can't <clears throat> physically access just yet. Nothing here, but a bunch of free supplies. Fuzaja, a new dimension of nature. Everything of Zilla Industries is possible that exists is in here. He who takes advice from a cookie is sure to crumble. And he who does not look behind these boxes to find secrets is clearly a fool. So the sheer amount of supplies that are in this one room are extreme. Hmm. Anything else in here? Does this explode? No, it does not. I'm probably gonna have to remember this room because I see generators on the walls. Ah, there's something I forgot. A little bit more money. There's a ton of supplies in this one area, meaning I should be more liberal with my use of ammunition. Also, why are there plants growing down here? Oh, there's an explosive bomb just floating in the air. Oh, hi. I didn't realize all of these were mobile. Can I, I get my explosive devices? I not miss all my shots? I have a certain accuracy to keep. Oh, they're all dead. Alright, I think I'm just gonna swap to utilizing my favorite weapon. As everyone knows, I'm a huge fan of the crossbow. With huge meaty chunks of an attack, tearing them apart piece by piece as crossbow bolts fly down the arena with your pinpoint accuracy. Now, is there anything else I've possibly missed? Probably not. Oh, please tell me I can grab this. No, I have to actually go back, don't I? Alright. We're locked in here. Uh, 
that was quick. Can we get off this crazy train now so I can keep going? Not great. Oh great. I think I'm gonna die. Um, I understand my rage is active. I also don't want to die. And that's why you don't use the crossbow here. Alright, let's try this again. I hate this rail segment. I was doing just fine early on, but then the enemies just got way too much. So what weapon should I use? Honestly, I still think the crossbow is the best weapon for this choice, just because it has the most accuracy. Hit this, please. Yep. Here we go. I can't grab the soul? That makes me sad. Forcing me forward. Oh, hi. Um. Can we get off? Can we get off, please? Off this crazy train? Off this crazy train before I detonate myself. Let me off. Now. Alright, looks like I'm trapped in here. Yep, oh, might as well keep going. Oh yeah, I forgot you could always clean the blood off your sword, and I haven't really s Ooh, that's actually a really good question. Because I have multiple weapons. We have the Novatsuri Kage Katana. Does the Rise of the Triad Excalibat change to something different? No. Disappointing. Alright, back to the Novatsuri Kage then. I'll so pick up as many supplies as I can, considering all the crossbow bolts I just wasted. Mostly because I'm also a horrible shot in addition to everything else. Is there anything else in here? No. And clearly that's where I'm supposed to continue on to. And let's see. Medicine, body armor. I think things are about to go south very quickly. Things got pretty hairy at the shipyard, sir. Did you see Kyokagami? I haven't been able to raise them at all. We got separated. God damn it! These creatures are everywhere. All my men are gone. Are you concerned about the sword, sir? I have two of them here. You have... what? I was able to retrieve Mizuyaki's and the one from the Manticore. If we survive this, I'm going to make you a very rich man, Wang. Sounds good to me, sir. Finally, one thing in this godforsaken world goes my... No! It's gone into quarantine. Find someone with override clearance. Yes, sir. Some of us have learned how to burn bridges. My family may be volatile, but there's a lot of love there. Really? Okay, no. Go ahead, brother. 
hoping to avoid touching the mountain gun just yet, because I think there's some areas I can still explore and loot from before moving on. And you know me, being the massive loot whore I am, I will continue to make sure that my pockets are so well lined that I could live off them for centuries. Now, what else was in here that I missed? I mean, there is the one piece of karma that I have to go and grab, as well as all these areas that I have to open up. And I don't remember if there's any reason to ever go check out this place in the future. So I might as well grab everything I can now. While the opportunity presents itself. I should also use the flamethrower again. Yep. More money, less problems. Like, I think money is the root of my ability to kill these demons. And since we have all weapons we can possibly buy, it's in my best interest to get as many upgrades as I can for them still. I think I've basically upgraded everything except the rocket launcher to the degree that I want to, and all other upgrades are just gravy. So we have this area down here. Ah, yes, we are supposed to come down here at some point. Yes, because everything here is quarantined and I can't physically open it all up yet. So we are going to have to do backtracking again. Oh well. That was my mistake for forgetting about that. I might as well continue and go through with this in the first place. Also, the fact, why the heck is this facility so overgrown? I thought nothing could really grow in the... Yeah, what? Tundra? I have to check. I mean, come on. How many times has a secret appeared up behind them now in this level in particular? Oh, come on. You can give me more karma than that. What about all the other fools that give me, like, 1250? There's nearly 500 less. Not like it really matters. I think 500 is just about chump change at this point. Alright. I would sprint, but my sprint speed actually isn't very fast. I'm just preferring to use the dashing abilities. And I really don't need sprinting. If I'm getting overwhelmed, it's purely my fault for not killing them fast enough. Anyway, on to the minigun. I'm not even going to bother trying to talk over this gun. I'm just going to keep firing until everything is dead. Until everything in my line of sight ceases to exist, the button will not be depressed. Or undepressed. And I apologize for how bloody loud that was, but what's the point of not using this gun? Like, if I ever stop shooting, I might actually risk them actually getting through to me and having to get off the gun to kill them. Oh well, what else is in here? More supplies. More money. More ammunition. More stuff I really don't need. Except more rockets. More rockets are always good. More rockets means less necromancers. Less necromancers means fun times for everyone. I think even the audience hates necromancers. At least I'd like to think you guys hate the necromancer fights just because they take so bloody long to get through. Anyway, on to the next sector. Ah, yes. Science in action. Kill them off one by one. All right, what are we doing now? Warlord fight. Actually, what am I doing?
Okay, that only hurts me. It doesn't hurt them in any way, shape, or form. So I really should avoid doing any form of rocketry without making sure I'm a safe distance away from them first. Is your arm gone yet? Almost. I just need one more direct hit. You should go down. I also need to stop lighting myself on fire. Oh, this actually heals me. Interesting. I didn't realize this was a life drain device as well. Um, excuse me. Can I heal myself, please? My health is kind of near zero. Well, that was definitely quick. And I'll reload most of my guns, get another demon's head, and move on with my life. This is something else I could physically pick up, and I also need to remember to stop pulling out my sword. It doesn't help anyone, especially me, when having I have to edit that down to no more sword like sounds. Whoa. I guess the rumors are true. What rumors? People said Zilla had some fortress way up in the mountains. They said he had alien spacecraft, missing evidence from the Kennedy assassination. No one ever found it, though. No one who stayed alive afterwards. He is a stickler for security. You have to have standards. Fair is fair. Now let's get a move on. Hopefully we can beat his security. Wait, we have to shut down security, don't we? Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Don't tell me this you're invulnerable. You are in fact invulnerable. That makes me sad. You can't make you, you can't be clever enough to break the security or everyone behind the security barrier before turning it off. What the hell were they trying to make in here? I don't feel like knowing, let's be honest. Do you really want to know? They already have effective the demonic trees? Or kudzu. I have no clue what they've been trying to do here. Anyway, let's get to the upper section, because I think that's how we progress. Where was it? Right here. I think that's how I progress. That might be much later. Or I might have actually gone the wrong way entirely. There is a secret. Usually that means I've gone the wrong way, but I doubt that. Ah, yes. That's the that's the ticket. That's the button I'm supposed to press to keep going. And there's the exit as well that I have to go through. So let's activate the button. Alright, so that place is now outrageously poisonous. And I don't feel like listening to that music. Yep, I had a feeling. I wish I knew what that was a reference to. Uh, 
uh, my sword. You know, the I can kill everyone in a specific row if they're not careful. Spin to win, boys. Spin to win. Alright, efficient enough. Now where do I continue to? Now clearly I head down, but who are you? Or maybe I don't head down, even though there's clearly nothing here. And that's a lot of gas. Nowhere else to go but down. Ooh, gas mask. Ha, this could come in handy. Oh, that's not going to be annoying at all. In fact, I really don't feel like dealing with this right now. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching. This has been Brainboy20 with Let's Play Shadow Warrior, and I am signing off. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe for it upset a great deal. And I hope to see you all next time. Farewell.